we are going to see serve wine. But before we serve wine, let us talk a little bit about wine. Uh, we shall see the classification of wine. Wine, by color, we have three types of wine. We have red wine, we have white wine, and then we have rosé wine. So, uh, red wine comes from black and red grapes. White wine comes from green and white grapes, while rosé wine comes from red and black. But uh, through the process of fermentation, until it matures, the rosé wine takes like halfway in a process with uh, with the skins because the color of wine comes from skin. If we classify wines, we have table wine, which is the first wine which uh, go through the first fermentation. We call it table wine or still wine. And then the second type of wine, we call, we call it sparkling wine or champagne. The sparkling wine is the wine which has been uh, fermented for two times. So the second fermentation is when the wine gets uh, the carbon dioxide gas. So if I can show you what we have here, uh, like this, Domaine Bergon, Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a table wine or still wine, red. And then we have a white wine, the same type, Domaine Bergon, Chardonnay. So it is from France. Uh, white wine, table wine or uh, still wine. And then the sparkling wine we have here. Moet and Chandon, which is Champagne. We have another sparkling wine called Nedebag, Cuvée Brut. This is a sparkling wine, not a Champagne, but they are the same. The difference is that all are sparkling wines, but one is a Champagne because it has been produced uh, from Champagne region in France. Good. So you can have even a sparkling wine which is expensive than even a champagne because the difference is that uh, beside the champagne region, other part of the world, if they produce sparkling wine, they call it sparkling wine and they give it a name. The third type of wine is a pot wine or fortified wine. The fortified wine is a wine which has been uh, added. Uh, they add grape spirit or what we call brandy to, to enhance its alcoholic content. For instance, we have like Porto or Sandeman is one of the fortified wine. And the fourth one is aromatized wine. Aromatized wine, they take the fortified wine and they infuse herbs, nuts, fruit, just to give it the aroma needed. So, for instance, we have here, Martini. Martini is an aromatized wine and Cinzano. Another name of aromatized wine is Vermouth. So when a guest asks for a wine, they don't refer to Martini. You have to be careful. They don't refer to sparkling wine or neither to uh, fortified wine. When they ask what kind of wine do you have? 
you make sure that they are asking for table wine to match with food because this comes for uh, they have uh, other functions during the service good so that is a basic about wine at this level so what about wine temperature as you can see the red wine is just at room temperature we didn't put red wine in a freezer or fridge or wine cooler it's at room temperature because we serve it at room temperature while the white wine you can see that here we have what we call wine cooler so it's really cold because we put ice and water and the wine comes from the wine cooler or the fridge so in order to keep the coldness we use the wine cooler good but the service is always the same if you remember when we used to set table dot setup we used the three glasses water goblet if you remember red wine glass if you remember and white wine glass so let us talk about the procedure but before we continue with the procedure i encourage you to follow and of course to take note remember another most important point is that we have to wash our hand with clean water clean running water with soap and that has to take between 45 seconds up to 60 seconds or one minute or you can sanitize your hand by using an acceptable sanitizer so let me sanitize my hand and proceed so about glassware here you need a proper skill because it's not allowed to use this red wine and serve white wine or maybe to be confused and use white wine glass for red wine or water you use it as a wine glass so you have to differentiate all these three glasses good so but remember again when people are drinking wine they normally accompany wine with water reason why you have you have always to set the three glasses if a guest order for white wine for instance what can you do simple you have to come and adjust your glassware and remove the red wine glass and uh, put together the two glasses white wine and water goblet and take off the red wine glass and if a guest order for red wine of course you take the white wine glass and then you leave red wine glass with water goblet and if he or she changes uh, during the service you can as well adjust and bring uh, what they ask good so let us talk about procedures because wine has a very long procedures but we can talk about few of them good after taking the wine order you have to collect wine collect wine means because every wine has its name its specification and after that you present the wine 
you present the wine to the host. After presenting the wine to the host, you identify the wine to the host by saying, for instance, excuse me, sir, you ordered for Domaine Bergo Cabernet Sauvignon. The year of the wine is 2017, for instance. And this is a red wine, dry red wine. Okay. After identifying the wine to the host, and then you have to wait until the host confirms. He may or she may say yes or okay or nodding the head. And then after that, after getting the approval from the host, then you hold the bottle firmly because you have to take it very firmly. Oh, good. And then you put it. It's not good to open it. Um, on the guest table. You have to bring the service table just near the guest table. Everything that you do, please don't do it on the guest table. So you have to bring a service table and then you use what we call corkscrew. You see these two tools they are different, right? This is just an opener. It opens only the bottle, right? So this is what we call waiter's friend. It has like three parts. It has the blade, if you can see, just to cut the foil of the wine bottle. It has these steps. You will see when we shall be opening the bottle. And it has what we call screw because it screws the cork from the bottle. You can see this, this screw. It screws the cork from the bottle. So let us see how we can open the wine because this has a lot of procedures, but let us do it practically and see. So you will be following all steps from step one up to step, up to the last step.